And for our last example, we're going to find the mass of the ice cream in this cone, which is between the region bounded between a cone and a sphere, and we're given a density function. The density is proportional to the square, the distance from the z-axis. So let's get a sketch of this region. So we've got this cone. Looks something like this. And that's given by z equals 2 root x squared plus y squared. And then we've got this sphere. I'll draw the whole sphere temporarily. So we got this sphere that's about the origin. And we're just interested in the part that's sitting above the cone. So I'll draw that portion in. Looks something like that. And then we'll get rid of the rest of it. And so this is a portion of the sphere, x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 5. And so we're interested in what's trapped between these two. We've got a sphere up above and a cone down below. Now if we think about what we would get for a footprint, well of course this depends on which direction we're going to integrate with respect to first, but we are working in cylindrical coordinates, so we're going to go z first. And now we can answer those four questions. We need to know what our footprint is. We need to know what are the sides. That's 1b. What are our sides? 1c. What is our bottom? What is our top? And then question number two is what is our 2d region? So z first means that we are interested in the projection of this whole thing down into the plane. What's going to happen is it's going to be the region that this intersection curve projects down to. Looks like it's going to be a circle. So that's going to be our footprint. We'll have to figure out what is that intersection. So I'm going to draw that intersection in. It looks like a circle, but I've got to verify this and that'll be in the xy plane. So let's figure this out. We're going to go and say, what is the intersection of the cone and the sphere? Well, that's going to be where x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals 5 intersects z equals 2 root x squared plus y squared. So I can take the equation for the cone and I can plug it into the equation for the sphere. So that'll give me x squared plus y squared plus and then that would be 2 root x squared plus y squared all squared is equal to 5. Or in other words x squared plus y squared plus 4x squared plus 4y squared is equal to 5. Or in other words where x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. So that intersection curve up in our diagram, that blue curve where the green sphere intersects the yellow cone, is a circle of radius 1. So this has equation x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. So we've got our footprint. Our footprint is a circle of radius 1 in the xy plane. What's our bottom? What's our top? I look back up at the diagram. I imagine these vertical line segments going up in the z direction. I see that any vertical line segment is going to start on the yellow surface, the cone, and end up on the green surface, which is the sphere. So we have that for our bottom and our top, is that z is trapped between, it's bounded above by the sphere, and it's bounded below by the cone. So that means that z is trapped below by 2 root x squared plus y squared and above by the square root of 5 minus x squared plus y squared. I'm going to give myself a little bit more room here just so I can write one more line. In the 2D region, 
which is that circular disk, we're going to use polar coordinates there. So if we go to polar coordinates, that's going to be r is between 0 and 1, and theta is between 0 and 2 pi. We're using polar coordinates, or in other words, we're using cylindrical coordinates for the whole thing, the three-dimensional region. So we've got our polar coordinates there. So r is between 0 and 1, and theta is between 0 and 2 pi. And I can go back up and revisit that bottom top and say, well, z is trapped between 2. x squared plus y squared is r squared, so this becomes 2r. In other words, when I use cylindrical coordinates, this equation is z equals 2r. And the equation of the sphere becomes r squared plus z squared is 5. Or in other words, since we're looking at this upper portion, z is equal to the square root of 5 minus r squared. So those are the corresponding equations that we're going to need which describe the surfaces in their spherical coordinates. And so the z value is trapped between 2r and the square root of 5 minus r squared. And so there we go, we've got all of our inequalities so that we can set up our integral. And so let's go ahead and set up our integral. See if I can keep most of that visible. So we're trying to find the mass of the ice cream. So that is, we integrate over the region of the density function. Did we call that region anything in the question? Nope, it didn't seem to be called anything, so we'll call it region E. So we are integrating E over E, the density function. The density of the ice cream at a particular point is proportional to the square of the distance from the point to the z-axis. So this tells me that density of x, y, z is proportional to the square of the distance to the z-axis. So it's x squared plus y squared times some constant of proportionality k. So that's our density function. And so we've got, we're integrating x squared plus y squared times some constant of proportionality k dv. And we've got our integral plan all set up. I'll just make as much visible as I can up above. We are going to integrate theta goes from 0 to 2 pi, r goes from 0 to 1, z goes from 2r to square root of 5 minus r squared. And then we've got k, which I'll move all the way out front. x squared plus y squared. Oh, x squared plus y squared. We've got to convert that to polar coordinates as well. So that is equal to r squared, or convert it to cylindrical coordinates, but it's in the plane. So that's going to be r squared. And then our dv, our dv, our volume element in cylindrical coordinates becomes r dz, dr, d theta. And so the integral we're going to have to compute then is the k times the integral from 0 to 2 pi, the integral from 0 to 1, the integral from 2r to the square root of 5 minus r squared, r cubed, dz, dr, d theta. And so there we go. I'll leave the integral for you to compute and if you go through the calculation, you should get a value of uh, 4 pi by 3k, that constant of proportionality. So that's a 3 in the denominator there. I'll fix that. And then it's 5 root 5 minus 11. And so there is our final value for the integral. And I'll leave it for you to complete these steps. So now this is three calculus two type integrals. All right, so that's it for this particular example. And it's actually it for this section of converting to cylindrical coordinates. So thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you again next time.